on our Halloween getaway. It's Wednesday the 31st of October. It's not a bad day. It's a little bit overcast. Uh, we're off to Meathop Fell. Got it right this time. Oh, you have? Yeah, well, we're only going to one side, so. Yeah, you, sorry. You couldn't really get it wrong. Yeah, so we're playing caravans, really, aren't we? Yeah, the, yeah. yeah we've, we've got the car with us up there. Yeah. And uh, we'll have a few trips out. A few people have suggested places to go. Yeah, thanks very much for that. Thanks for that, and we'll pick a few. Make sure they're open, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll film that. See where, see where we end up. So the plan is we arrive obviously today, hopefully, all being well. Um, Bob and uh, sorry, Glenn and Sharon arrive on Thursday, on Friday. Yeah, good to try. God, it's difficult these days, things for me, you know. And then uh, Bob and Aileen arrive on Saturday. Yeah, that's it. And when do we go home again? When do we go home? We go home Tuesday, don't we? No, no, Wednesday. Oh, we're going Wednesday. Yeah, All right. so we've got, okay. we've got seven nights. I was thinking we're going home Tuesday. I told Alison we're going home Tuesday, so that's probably really confused. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, no. Well. Right. Yeah. So I think that's I think that's it. Um, picked. We've got Tara in the back. Yeah. Uh, picked her up early last night. Uh, we, she got a bit scared last night. It, it's what they call mischief night in. In Liverpool and surrounding areas, yeah, and uh, there, there were kids running around with fireworks and things like that. That's Alison said there were actually some kids running around holding lit fireworks in their hands. So scary, it, yeah, a little bit scary. And stupid for, as well. Yeah, scary, stupid, and all that sort of thing. So you picked, you went over and picked so her up. So I went early. over and picked her up, uh, and she stayed with us. So she's had a stopover. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, she's in the back. Yep. All, all sleeped up, I think. Yeah, it's quite relaxed now. Yeah. That van's uh, ever going to move over. Thank you. Right, Thanks. so we'll catch up with you when we get near me, Thought Fell, I suppose. Yeah. Yep. All right, see you later then. Yeah. Quite slippy in the wet. 
and you, then you can't see over the right over your shoulder. No. no. See, all right. I can't see anyone. No, you're okay. Yeah. Why are we coming here? So. <laughs> Well, it's so amazing open. that it, it is open all year, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah, even in the snow and even ice. Even in the snow and ice, yeah. yeah. Set out. That's that said. I think it said 12:07, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, estimated arrival time. So the nice uh, ladies said that we can go on an, or an awning or a non awning. Yeah. It's the same yeah. price, aren't they? So, so I don't know why you're showing me that because you can't see it on the camera. <laughs> Do you want to film it on the other one? No, we've got to find the page. All right. Okay, so that was one, two, seven, ten, and that's seven nights, isn't it? Yeah. So that's not bad, is it? How much was it for Summer's Wood? For yeah, but that's the week of the show. But yeah, I suppose it's more... it's 245. Yeah, wow. So I think it's good value here, isn't it? Yeah. For why we keep coming here. Yeah. So they reckon there's some down here. No, so no. Here, That's so the one. Are, so what are these pictures over there? Well, those I thought might be a bit dodgy in there. That's 103, that one. Yeah, she's suggesting 108, 109, which are over there. Over there, okay. It's easier to get a satellite signal this time of year because there's less trees on the thing. 102, yeah. Yeah, so we've got to go right the way around here. Yeah. I could helpfully park there, isn't it? Mm. I'll just go. We'll just go on the grass, then, shall we? Yeah. Car, all right. Yeah. Definitely don't want to go here because that's where we didn't get any, any satellite at all. at all last time. No, okay, so we're going to go left again. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. Tara. I think it's Poppy actually. Is it Poppy? Yeah. All right, Poppy. I watch this sign on the left. Yeah, I know, I was taking a really wide turn on this. What we got here? We've got 63. Yeah, so and 62. I've turned left too early, haven't I? No, you haven't. No? Because at the end here is 108 and 109. Oh, right, okay. So we could go on 109 here. Or 108. Or 108. Let's go on one. 109 is a bit longer. Yeah, go on 109. We'll get here. Yeah. Nice and near the toilet. Yeah, let's get the car unhooked. Right, so see you in a bit. Yeah. Right, I've had a bit of fun and games after we arrived uh, here today. We, we the satellite wasn't working again, was it? No. So um, we just switched thing. it on. Yeah. And let me. Yeah, and I'll show you that in a minute. 
I'm probably in the dark there, aren't I? So what was happening was that the uh, power and the, oh, I can't remember which lights, two lights were flashing and the satellite dome wasn't going round or satellite dish wasn't going round. I spoke to RoadPro, I gave RoadPro a ring because it's a RoadPro sat dome and he said what it probably is is the connection on the roof this time of year gets corroded because all the damp and he said the dealer who fitted it probably didn't uh, in sh it didn't um, waterproof it properly. He said we normally use self amalgamating tape to make sure the joints are okay. So I've been up on the roof. Well, not literally. I mean, you've been you've been through the skylight. Yeah. Oh, it it sound like you're climbing on the roof? No, well, I haven't been on the roof yet. <laughs> I've been I've been uh, got a ladder and I went up on the roof. And uh, well, I better show you. Oh. I've lost it now. Oh, the top, and I found. I tried to unscrew the connection first of all, and it broke off. So I thought that's probably the problem. So I'm going to have to remake the cable that goes from the sat dome on the roof into the box inside. So what I've done temporarily is I've got one of those cables that you use for uh, getting a, a TV point. TV point, uh, you know, from the point on the on the pitch normally, and I run it into the roof. So let me just show you that. So up on the roof, just run a if you can see that, just run a cable from the sat dome down here. Try not to break my neck here, down here, and it's a bit more of a mess than it is normally. <laughs> I'm not going in anywhere near that. <laughs> but but at least I've got a lock on me. <laughs> you probably can't see that. A lock on the sat on the satellite. So shut the door. Yeah. No one will notice. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. Just so we don't have somebody really tall the way you've got that at the moment. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think I might have to pull I will put that back in in a minute I'll st uh, and just tuck it under so uh, I've had to do that so I've got a repair to do when I get home is actually yeah. run that cable in again Poppy why do you always want to go out when I'm trying to film something he doesn't want to be in the film that's what it is anyway so that's it for today Tara's here Tara's here trying to calm me down aren't you Probably trying to wind me up. <laughs> the satellite definitely is trying to do that. Yeah. Yeah. It just it just feels like you get to a certain age with vans and all sorts of things start going wrong. Yeah. Anyway, stop moaning. Give us a well, thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. I think when we decide where we're going. <laughs>